Well, good evening. Hello and welcome to Gold Coast Libraries and to Rabina. My name is Karen Phillips and it is my great pleasure to welcome you here tonight because we are in for a magnificent treat. Has everyone been on the website? Yeah. <laughs> you are one of the three million people across Australia that does it each and every week. Has anyone cooked any of the recipes? Yes. Oh, has anyone failed? That is magnificent. No one has failed. Well, we are going to have a treat for you tonight. We're going to have an interview. We're going to have some cooking. You might have a chance to cook yourself. And then we've got the book signing. And the Aggies agreed to stay here until the last book is signed. I know, which is absolutely incredible because there's over 400 of you here tonight. So what an absolutely fantastic event put on by City of Gold Coast and Gold Coast Libraries. Can you give them a big round of applause? I'd like to acknowledge the traditional and original inhabitants of this area, including the Yugambeh language people and their family groups within, and recognise their connection to the lands, to the waters, and to the sky and the resources in the area that we now know as the Gold Coast. Now, bathrooms are directly out through the main door. Should there be a fire, you've all said you've looked at the website, so you all know who JB is, don't you? It's his fault. Because he's, he's already been doing a little bit of cooking. He's prepared those tacos a little bit, so that's what you can already smell. So if there's any, any fire at all, if there's a need to evacuate, we'll head straight outside, grab a taco on your way, and we'll meet, uh, we'll meet actually in the car park. So, but tonight is going to be sit in your seat, and I think on the edge of your seat as we go through. These are really special events. And they're completely special because the Gold Coast Libraries, they're called the Author Series, and they aim to bring really the library collections to life by connecting you with authors and specialists in their fields by providing an opportunity for you to actually hear from them, to learn more about them, and to have the opportunity of meeting with them. And you might get that sneaky photo as well while you get the, your actual book sign later tonight. So it's a wonderful experience. And we've had thousands through right across the Gold Coast and all our libraries this year, and we're so happy to be be able to have live events back, aren't we? Niagi was saying for her, she usually spends her time in front of a screen. So live events are actually a challenge because she's not used to having to cook A in front of so many people, but actually talking for so many people. She's there with Dozo usually beside her and just cooking happily at home. So tonight we kind of have a very thin Dozo. <laughs> Have you had a look at him? He's kind of shrunk, hasn't he? And what I really love is he has his library card with him, <laughs> which I think this is... I love that. They're so good at Gold Coast Libraries. Don't you love that? Now, he's done that tonight to remind you, if you aren't a library member, you should do so. Why? Because it's free. <laughs> it's free. So many resources and opportunities, and of course you can be within the library, you can do lots of things um, not by even visiting the library, but going online. But really importantly as well, there's the newsletter. So member or not, and just because you're a member, make sure you sign up to the newsletter, because it actually gives you the opportunity of hearing about all these upcoming events. And as you can see, they sell out quickly. And we've got a series of events coming up um, right across the next few months, but ticket sales go like no tomorrow. So make sure you make sure that you actually take part and just sign up your name so that we've got those details like Dozo has. And now we're sorry he can't be with us, but I'm hearing that he's having chuck steak at home tonight and he's being looked after down there on the shores of Sydney. And um, I hope, did, who's had a photo with him tonight on the way in? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I did too. My schnauzer at home is very disappointed that I've kind of put him up online tonight. Well, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to meet her? I have to say, I've spent the afternoon with her, and I'm in love. <laughs> I really am. And not even about the food, but just about the person. You know, when you talk about meeting an author, because that's what she is now, and for her, this is a brand new time in her life, is to actually be an author. She's been online. She's been a very successful career woman in her own right. In 2014, as many of you may know, she decided to take the plunge. And for most of us in our 30s, 40s, 50s, or even 20s, to kind of decide to do something different in our life, not just something different, but something very obscure, follow our passion. Something we dream about doing, but most of us never have the courage or the ability to take that giant leap off the cliff and to have full belief that somehow it'll work. But she's a businesswoman, so she researched, she reviewed, and she picked up her mum's second-hand camera. 
Actually, that's a lie. She stole it. <laughs> and she started learning how to take photos. And from there, as they say in showbiz, the rest is history. But I want to share with you a few numbers because I kind of think when we talk about success of people, everyone says they're a success on social media, don't they? The Insta world that we all live in. How about this? We have 15 million Australian viewers to the website every week. 4.6 million social media followers globally. In 2021 alone, the website received over 335 million views. Now, this is not just big in Australia, it's big in the world. And not only has Nagi become famous in Australia, but worldwide as a sensation. In actual fact, her book, now, it's the heaviest book I've ever picked up, I have to tell you. I said to her, if you were just about sales, you do three cookbooks and just have 50 of your recipes in each cookbook. But this is who she is. This is genuinely about her heart. She wanted to give you everything. I have a feeling it's just the beginning, by the way. But 150 recipes with dinner. This is the fastest selling book in Australian history. Not just a cookbook, but as the team have told me, each day I'm getting emails coming through saying, we knew it would sell well. We knew it would hit the bestsellers list. No, no, it hit number one in the first few days. So can I also suggest if you love it, buy it, because they're going to having to be reprinting and you may not get it in the next few days when you're looking for Christmas tips. So are you ready? Let's bring her out. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Nagi. <laughs> Come and take a seat. Oh, oh no. Look how many there are. Oh, hi, That's everyone. Incredible. Thank you so much for coming today. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> and the You're thing making my head really big, though. I'm just listening to what you were saying, and my head's just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, wait till we finish. You won't be able to get out the door, let me tell you. Before we sit... I put your hands up again. Could you just, because I think it's so good to just show, yeah. how many of you actually go to the website regularly? I have never <laughs> seen this in an audience. Now, are you sure? Because some people go, oh, yeah. Usually people go, oh, maybe, I don't know. I went there once. These are regular users. How many have tried the recipe and it failed? One man. Oh, two <laughs> men. I don't want to pick on the blokes, but you know. We've got two blokes at the recipe file. Thank you for being honest, sir and sir. The rest of you are like, no way, I got it. Did you, I'm, I'm here to tell you the good part about, which is very rarely seen, and I love the QR codes because we didn't ever use them before COVID, did we? Is that for gentleman one and gentleman two, don't worry. You just go to the page, click on the QR code, and the video will take you the whole way through the recipe. They're a fail-safe recipe opportunity for you. You ready to sit? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, come on. Go easy on me, though. Okay? Oh, of you course. Know. <laughs> how, can I, how can I not go easy? Now, I, I kind of want to start off with your family history. I think it's always good to know where people really start. Like, how do you start? You, you have a love of food. Your mum, mm -hmm. three kids, hard-working mum. Mm -hmm. Fairly challenging life for her. Yeah, really. Was. I mean, yeah. there were there were weeks where there was like eight dollars after mm. she'd paid the bills. There were just eight dollars. Yeah, so in I mean, I grew account. up in a time when it was you know seventeen percent interest rates and mm. uh, single mother raising three kids. And she does tell the story of how she'd end a pay cycle with eight dollars left in the bank, and she would just be terrified that one of us would get sick and she wouldn't be able to afford medicine for us. And um, Back then, as a kid, I, I didn't understand it because she, of course. Well, she, you know, would entertain us, take us to the beach, and um, we ate so well, even though she was on such a budget. So I actually didn't realise that we were poor. <laughs> I know that sounds really strange, but, no, but secondhand that... uniforms and things like that, I just didn't notice. I didn't understand. So, so yeah. for you as well, growing up, I mean, you talk about going down to the water's edge and actually catching your fish. Yes. And you know, because you came also from Japan is that having sashimi, you know, for us that grew up as, you know, whitey go nighties in Australia, we kind of have rissoles on Tuesday and roast on Saturday and, you know, everyone's with me or half the room are, is that this is kind of the traditional way we were brought up. So for you to come to Australia, you talked about you always wanted a Vegemite sandwich because yes. that's what the other kids had. And that's why I'm obsessed with Vegemite now. Because <laughs> I didn't have it as a child. I was deprived. <laughs> and the rest of us are still trying to get rid of it. <laughs> no, most of us love it. Is that growing up, these kind of, while you wanted to become Aussie in so many ways, the cooking 
bringing this kind of heritage piece with your family was so critical, wasn't it, for you? Yeah, I think, well, to be honest, I didn't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> My mother wanted sashimi and you couldn't buy it in the shops in Australia back then, so she made no. us go out and fish for it. And so we would catch our own fresh fish and then just cut it up and eat it raw. So that did is actually what we did. When you say that, though, I want to go back to that for a minute because you talk about doing that, and I know beachside you'd actually then light a fire and, and you'd cook it there, octopus, etc. Is it... In doing that, that was very unusual. It was. Like for people walking by, do you remember as a kid kind of thinking, this is not what other kids do? I didn't realise it. We used to have okay. so much fun doing it, but it's so strange to think about it now. Um, there's a beach in Sydney called Balmoral Beach, which yes. is very prestigious, very expensive real estate. And that's where we used to go as a child. And um, back then, you could actually catch abalone just off the rocks there. And we all know abalone is one of the most expensive produce in Australia now. Um, so we literally just used to get it off the rocks, catch oct octopus in the rock pools, and yeah, just grill it up on the charcoal barbecue along with... Back then, no one knew about teriyaki chicken and yakitori. No. <laughs> but we would be cooking that on the grill, and you can imagine the smell coming off it. And Australians would walk past and be like, what's that smell? And we'd give them a sample. and. Yeah, they loved it. So you changed the lives of those people in the circles around you exactly as well. Exactly right. <laughs> and you talk about not actually maybe bringing other kids home from school into your home um, as you grew up. I mean, as an Australian born and bred here is that we would always have kids over or we'd be over at their house. Was it isolating in any way for you in no. the way that you were brought up? No, not at all. Not at all. So when we moved to Australia, I was only three um, and my parents were very keen to you know, raise us as Aussies. So yes. didn't even speak Japanese. So they encouraged us to speak English. So yeah, very much grew up with an Australian circle of friends and yeah, stayed over, did the sleepover. And, yeah. Did all the regular things. Exactly. Except Vegemite sandwiches. Except for Vegemite and sandwiches and rissoles. ramen instead of bolognese. Oh, well. <laughs> you know, I was really deprived as a child. <laughs> really deprived. And I got to send to school with bento boxes. Um, I know. And people I know. Would, Can what, you believe she that? did that? <laughs> no, because you would have stood out. I mean, everyone at school swapped as well, didn't we? You'd kind no of go, one wanted what my have lunches. you got? No, no one right. wanted my sushi rolls. <laughs> I wanted their cheese sandwiches and their Vegemite sandwiches. No one wanted my bento box. And yours were so much more nutritious. I know. When and nowadays, back. all I want my mum to do is make bento boxes for us. In fact, we regularly ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about your mum because she worked very hard. She did. In her life, looking at your life now and all you kids, but your life now, I mean, is she blown away? Is it she had high expectations anyway? How I don't does know she that she had high this? expectations of me. I was a pretty naughty kid in high school. Oh, I don't let's think go she there. Had high expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you've always been extremely smart. So when you say no, you're, we want I was to get very, to the... I was not academic at all. Okay. I was, yeah, I was always of the view that if you got any every mark above C for me was a waste of study time. <laughs> What? I, I could have been that. out there having fun with my friends. I, I love this. But you started work at 14. I did. So your first yeah. job at 14, because yeah. you believed that if you had school. money, that you could then shoot, make your own choices. So Just independence, financial yeah, independence. Course. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you went on to a career, obviously. And by the way, we talk kind of about this, this financial career and that you, you know, you work for one of the biggest it global organisations. It was a very career. Yeah, I was an very, auditor. Yeah, well. I mean, it is hard to beat that. I can't believe I gave that up for food sometimes. <laughs> just don't understand. Some people don't understand. But it's okay. I wasn't a tax auditor. I was just a normal auditor. <laughs> you just had auditor. half, 50% yeah. of the trickiness. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so don't run away if you haven't lodged your tax return. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. You and a few others in the audience. <laughs> yeah, it, doesn't, right. it doesn't matter. But so when you grew up, did you always cook with mum at home? No, never. Ah. No. Did she teach you? No. Right. I know you I want wanted... a really romantic story. No, no. I, no. I like, I like <laughs> the... No, the cold hard truth is no, I didn't help out now, at are home. You, are you saying this now so she gets no royalties? I just want to check in. <laughs> check in that you're making no, sure that she I, doesn't... I, I've just got to tell the truth. I didn't. I was so lazy as a kid. I didn't help out at home at all. Didn't help out in the kitchen at all. Had no interest in cooking. The only, so when I, so the true, absolute truth is the mm. reason I got into cooking is I left home at um, 18 yes. and I was working full time for a large accounting firm and they were putting me through university at night. Um, and yeah, so I moved out of home. So obviously I was, you know, a, a poverty stricken uni student. And, but I loved eating good food, but I couldn't afford to eat out of restaurants. So I just started teaching myself how to cook and starting to, you know, invite people over and have dinner parties. And it was all driven by the fact that I just like to eat good food and I couldn't 
couldn't afford to go out to restaurants. So, yeah, that's the truth of it. No, mum didn't teach me to cook. <laughs> Sorry. I know you want to think of us, no. like, lining up at the dining table, wrapping gyoza together. And... No, there was none of that. There was none of that. And you want to that. know what's even worse? Come on. I'm not very good at cooking Japanese food. Oh, no. Because I've got it on tap. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. And you have to say that because mum always cooks best. Exactly. So, so why would I bother learning? Why would you try? Exactly. Why would you even try? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I so it's really bad. <laughs> Well, it probably is bad, but I mean, there's so many different other styles of cooking exactly. and so many different ingredients you can use. You've already got that in the house, so exactly. just you look a little bit elsewhere. So you went through your career. Why? I know you went, so you went for a, a bit of a drive on a weekend. You fell in love with the place. You thought you might move in there. It was 90 minutes moving back and forwards to the transit to um, your business where you were working. And after a few weeks, you decided, you know what? I only changed my life. Yep. I mean, I was saying earlier before you came on stage, that takes courage and plain guts, really, doesn't it? To actually say, I think I could do this. No, I didn't think I could do it. Oh. <laughs> So you're just going to it take some scary. time off. You had six months scary. worth of income that you kind of thought, or six months that you could survive, it and you had to scary. make it work. Yeah, it wasn't. I, I didn't have 100% confidence. I just, I knew, <laughs> I knew, I knew that I had the work ethic. Yes, I wasn't of sure that I could make it work. Um, but I did my research, and I yes. tested the waters, and yeah, and then I gave them my all. But I absolutely didn't know, didn't know at all. So when you look at the numbers now, when you actually sit there. I mean, do you look at the numbers? Every day. I <laughs> know them inside out. Because, and I love this, because you're business, you're a business-based person. I can't help it. I'm a numbers girl through and through. <laughs> now, and, and you said that as well, is that as part of, you know, you, people say, oh, I do this because I love to cook and it's not about the money. Yeah. Well, you've got to buy the food, so it has to be about the money somewhere. I know. And when I first started the website, it was definitely a bit taboo, I guess, to mm. say, oh, I'm, you know, blogging for mm. money. That's my goal. It's not for the love of food. But I do have the love of food. It's just that I need to make a living. I'm not a trust fund baby, unfortunately. Yeah. Wish I was. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I think that makes sense. And I also think that's part of who you are. You're this honest spirit that actually really shares what it is and why it is. And that's why people love you because you're not saying you're something you're not. And by the way, in a world that is, you know, encapsulated by social media and, you know, Instagram and, you know, the world has gone crazy in so many ways, we want to find authenticity in that actual part of the world as well. And, and that's what people have fallen in love with. I think it's that I just wouldn't have the energy to be anyone other than myself. It would be too hard. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you're not out the back, you know, we, we've been out the back this afternoon, we've had a catch-up, there's been work to do. You saw course, how nervous I books. was, I was you... pacing back and forth, shaking my hands like this. No, you weren't. <laughs> really, I mean, we've seen people, it's just like, I'm too nervous to go out, I'm an author. It's like, yeah, well, get out there. So, <laughs> it's, it's like, the people, have, the people have come to see you, you were, is that as part of um, the everyday, can you walk us through what that looks like? Every day, oh gosh, it changes from day to day. Um, now it does with the book. Well, of it definitely does. Before the book, the book, pre book. Pre book. So uh, I'd get up in the morning and then I would, over breakfast, I'd be reading reader questions on my website and answering yes. cooking questions. And that, I love that routine because yeah. you really get an insight into what people think about the recipes that you've shared. And also, actually, also. Um, areas of cooking that people are struggling with ah, a little bit okay. or more interested in mm. and the types of recipes they're looking for. So, yeah, I just like a quiet half an hour of doing that. Um, then I'll usually take Dozer for a walk, go down to the beach and, yeah, get a bit of sun. And then my team will turn up and then from there it's chaos. <laughs> so whether it's a big cooking day, um, cause, and you'll meet my t some of my team later, yes. but... Um, when you've got professional chefs as part of your team, the pace at which you work is so much faster and wow. definitely the standard at which you cook is so much higher. So it's pretty intense when the team turns up. A um, lot of grocery shopping, a lot of washing up. Who does <laughs> the washing up? Well, you know, up until three years ago, I didn't have a dishwasher. And oh, it was just me. Wow. And Oh, yes, I did so much washing. It was insane. But even with this cookbook, it was it's pretty intense, yeah. Well, when you say pretty intense... Is it true that some of the recipes are not just 10 or 15, they're like 20, 30, yeah, 40. There was one that was like 80, wasn't there? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 89. I'm just like, oh, sorry, <laughs> that didn't record. work, enjoyed or not. 
You know, like what was what is the record? 89. 89. 89 times, yeah. Who were you feeding with this? Well, actually, interestingly, it was at the at the first lockdowns during the pandemic. Ah, ah. And it was my vanilla cake recipe. That's and, right. Yeah, yeah. And so I did have the time. <laughs> um, and a lot of people appreciated the cakes. So But you yeah. even with your vanilla cake recipe, you went from trying old eggs to fresh eggs. Yes. You know, you went through well, so, so differently. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I mean, most of her in the fridge going, "Is that all right? You know, will I try? It? Like, will that survive? Especially during that time, because you couldn't even buy chickens in Australia, could you? Yeah. You know, at that time, everyone mm -hmm. bought chickens. Is that that's still a lot of cake making for one cake? It is. I mean, d it is. Do you, have you ever also, eaten it since? It's my business. That's I'm, the thing. So for me, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it was enjoyable. Once I was past the fifth time, I was really over it. <laughs> but it's it's what I do. You know, yeah. so, I mean, there are a lot of recipes in there that were made over 30 times and it was a hard slog, but um, I see it as my work. And I think everyone has a very romantic notion about yeah. what I do and, you know, that I'm... Licking the bowl. Exactly. <laughs> Poise, don't break a sweat, That's everything right. works out, everything's delicious. It could not be further from the truth. It could not be further from the truth. It's just, yeah, it's a lot, it's a hard slog. It's, um, it's a lot of dirty dishes. And yeah, of course. Actually, the amount of cooking, I would say in a, in a normal day, I would say I'd probably do 15%, 15% of my time is spent on cooking. Um, yes. And the rest of it is there's a lot of administration, there's a lot of typing. So I write everything. So every word in there is mine. Um, the, the website, I write every single post. Uh, I, I get them proofread, but it mm. is genuinely me writing everything. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of computer time. Editing photos as well, because I do my own photos and film my videos. So. Well, every photo on here, I think, is it bar two? Other than two of the recipes. Other than two yeah. are actually your own yeah. photo. Now, people could say, well, that's good cost saving. But I think we're so much more particular when it's our own work yes. as well, is in getting it right. Do you kind of get to the end of the day and just lie on the lounge and A, not want to eat, not want to do anything and just blob? No, I'm exhausted. But yeah. then to relax, I'll go in the kitchen and cook again. That's, <laughs> but, but that's always been your thing, hasn't it? You it said, has, No matter it how has. late you get home, yeah. you want to be in the kitchen because it's yeah. actually the methodical kind of not music or not necessarily TV, yeah, but actually TV. cooking. Yep. No, it is. It is. It really, really is. And not having a camera there and not having to worry about documenting it or yes. being on Instagram and not doing Instagram stories and not worrying about any of that, just having a very big glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> How big is big? Because <laughs> it's changed now. Have you noticed? It used to be 200 mils and now it's like toilet paper. They've shrunk it to 150. No. Yes, as your no. average glass. So is your glass, when you say a big glass, thing we're all here where it's like... Chatham House rules, isn't it? It's like, what's your big glass? Oh, is that surely like surely at least 250 mil. Like oh, good. Cup. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's a recipe. A real that's glass, a recipe right. for you. Yeah, that's a real glass. And is it red or white? <laughs> Both. Oh, anything. yeah. Anything. <laughs> Both. Both together. <laughs> so, for you doing this at home, do you have friends over a lot now? Actually, mm. since so pre-pandemic, definitely that yes. was my thing. I mm. love hosting. I love having parties, lunches, dinner parties, um, and the whole process behind it. You know, planning the menu and yes. how the table's going to look and how how I always used to challenge myself as to like how um, interesting a menu I could make with uh. minimal effort on the day, if that makes sense. So the yep. whole make ahead yeah. component, minimising time away from my friends and mm. changing it up a little bit, experimenting, things like that. Um, but yeah, I think the pandemic just, I mean, obviously those two years didn't really entertain very much and then I've been busy with this for a while and I'm a little cooked out at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. No, I wondered <laughs> about that. Have, is there ever been a moment where you've got, what have I done? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, but I mean, we've all done that in our lives at some point. But I mean, this has kind of grown at a... It hasn't been mm. a glacial pace. Certainly when you first launched, yes, there were two likes per day and it kind of grew and then it, you know, went absolutely crazy and, and hasn't stopped since. But it's a monster to feed, isn't it? It is in one sense, and there are definitely days when I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I think also because when I started out, it was just me and Dozer. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now I've got a team of 10, and it is the most wonderful decision I made, having wow. a team. I think that includes my food bank as well. Yes. Um, but having a team is definitely the, most, the best decision I ever made, and it's allowed me to do things that I never imagined possible like this and like having my food bank. Um, but definitely there are days when I wake up and I just think, wow, is this really my life now? Yeah. And, but I'm, I know how lucky I am and I genuinely love what I do. 
even though it sounds like I only cook 15% of the time. <laughs> it's everything know, else around it. It's meet, yeah. I mean, meeting people mm. has been an amazing experience. Reading what they have to say about the recipes and, yeah. you know, it's, it's everything about it. I, I genuinely love it. So. And you love giving back as well because during COVID there was this opportunity and, and we'll all remember, I mean, getting food was hard enough for some of us at, at some points, but certainly mm. um, for the nursing staff and for the healthcare workers, yeah. um, there was this great need to support them and, and not only to support them as in, sure, you can drop off hamburgers, not being rude, but to actually support them in a healthy way mm. and a way that really made them feel like they were genuinely receiving love. Yeah, that was and actually... Tell us actually, a little bit about that. We called it the uh, Healthcare Heroes Initiative and yes. it was a Sydney... Um, I, I think everyone here remembers how that awful time when COVID first happened yeah. and, and healthcare workers were really smashed during that time because of all the unknowns around coronavirus. Um, you know, we, I heard some stories from hospitals where cab drivers and Uber drivers just refused to pick up anyone in scrubs because mm. they were so terrified of, yeah. Um, yeah, of, of being infected. And they were literally, they were saying they were treated like lepers and they weren't allowed into restaurants and cafes and, you know, takeaway places wouldn't serve them. So it was pretty, pretty awful time. And um, other people were moving out of home just to protect their family. I heard some stories of yes. people sleeping in the garage in their houses. It yep. was just really, really intense. And uh, as part of that, they were working really long hours as well because a lot of them were... Of course. Yeah, especially. So we started an initiative called Healthcare Heroes. Um, and, yeah, we basically did... I think it was GoFundMe, one of those fundraising platforms, and just raised... We did OK. We raised $100,000 and we were using that it's money... It's pretty OK. Meals. It was the public. Yeah. I mean, it was incredible, mm. the support mm. that we got. And we were using it to buy hot meals that we then provided to healthcare workers and we were delivering it every day for, I don't know, it's about five or six weeks. So, That's yeah, incredible. it was great. Watching the community come together was amazing. But um, it also started that, that tidal wave. And I think that's so important that others across Australia then, because that was Sydney-based, is yes. then other areas also took on that. So you kind of created this, this wonderful opportunity for others to kind of step up and be better as well. But then you went on from there in 2021, you saw that lots of Sydney ciders were in need for nutritious food, um, from scratch, as we like to say, which is so important. And, and you know... You, we, we all kind of fell in love during COVID, may I say, particularly, and, and part of your success, because people wanted to cook. They wanted to kind of turn back to their kitchens. They wanted to nest back in their homes and, and create something that gave them delight because their home was the only place that could create joy it, during that period, particularly. So during to 2021, you came together, you now have three chefs working there and you're helping a number of Sydney ciders. How many we meals a week are you providing? Uh, so it's about 2,000 meals a week. So it's about 100,000 a year, um, plus desserts, as they always like to remind me. <laughs> Very important, uh -huh. the desserts. They love the desserts. <laughs> they do love the desserts. Everyone loves their desserts. So. Absolutely. But I mean, you say it just like, oh, well, that's just something I do. But hang on, you're employing three chefs. This is, you've yes. started not-for-profit. One, one, one chef, one and chef. he's got two cooks And two cooks him. with yeah. him, yep. Yeah. So you've started not for profit so you've not yeah. only got this business you've now grown this new business which helps yeah. those in need yeah. and then you've got your third as well that you did during that particular time mm -hmm. and now we've got a book yes life's busy <laughs> life is busy I want to ask about Dozer because I know, I know. he's here in well half we're saying his say, little oh hello I know, I know. he's going to he's help us little... cook later I'm saying he's lost a bit of weight since last time I saw him he's <laughs> looking quite thin there he said um He's, he's getting a little older now. Is he 12? He is, how old is he he's now? He's 10. He's 10, but it's certainly 10. not stopping him. He's still pretty crazy. No. Him. Well, how would he be eating like that at home? I know. Are you mindful with what you give him? I've kind of watched and thought, you know, is that fat-free? <laughs> you know, especially that, like, little rice pudding thing just the other week you put up, and it's kind of like, no, everything's got to be on the floor that you have, and he's, like, intensely <laughs> looking <laughs> on the bench going, I could eat that, and I'm like, I could eat that. I could eat it probably <laughs> if it was on the floor as well, by the way, because it looks so damn delicious. <laughs> But um, are you mindful with what he receives? I don't really need to be, to be honest. I mean, obviously, <laughs> yes. I don't give him things that are bad for dogs, yes. so garlic and onion and things like that. But mm. in terms of calorie intake, it's me that has to be more conscious yeah. about that, not him. <laughs> he just, he's happy to run it off. I'm not happy to run it off, you know. It's, 
<laughs> so he's okay. Worry about me. Yeah, well, I, th I think we're all like that with the recipe. So, you know, we, we want to make everything, don't we? And now we've got this book. We're, we're forever going to be at home making fantastic recipes. So Good. I've worked out that 150, it's almost we could all be doing, folks, one every second and a half day to get through the whole book in the year. Because I'm sure, knowing you, by next year, you're going to have a new book coming out. Oh, can we get through this book first? Well, <laughs> well there's going to be no paper left in the world because you're selling it so quickly. Were you surprised by that? I, I can't comprehend it still. It, 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 I, yeah, I actually haven't digested it. Really? I, I can't understand it. To me, I, I Hello? Mean, I, I know. I She's know. like, do you think anyone will come? <laughs> I'm like, it sold out in like two hours or three hours or something. It was absolutely, you know, Will from Gold Coast Library said, oh, you know, we'll put it up and... We'll, you put it up on your website, and as soon as you put it, there was like no tickets because you have such a following. It's just uh, because I've always lived my life behind the keyboard, as I said yeah. to you, to, I didn't know how it would translate in real life because mm. I think it's, it is easier to connect. For me, it's certainly easier to connect with people online and um, yeah. there's certain comfort doing it in your trackies <laughs> with no makeup on, not having to brush your hair, with dozer at my feet and... I, I mean, I think I'm a fairly sociable person, like I yeah. can chat to most people, but just because I've built my whole website online, yeah. um, I just didn't know how it would translate in real life. And yeah, so I've been really surprised and obviously very, yeah, amazed by it. And it's been an incredible experience. Well, I think it's, you know, we spoke earlier and you said, you know, I, I cook and I said, no, what you really do from my perspective, and I think perhaps the audience might agree, is that you've taken the love from your kitchen and you give moments of hope and joy to those of your followers who actually get to see an opportunity of a better experience, a better day, a better moment because of the way you love so much in what you do, is that if we can inspire ourselves to live like that a little bit more and be like that in our own homes, we feel we'll be better people. And I think that's your authentic self that really, doesn't it, folks? It really comes through the screen, doesn't it? And, and in everything you do, and, and particularly, of course, in your website, is that that's how we feel. And, I mean, you do... I think the next book you might do is um, a dog book. <laughs> I think a dog... A dog uh, actually, dog food label, that's what I was kind of thinking. <laughs> Seeing we all... How many people got dogs during COVID? Yeah. Yeah, or have dogs. How many people have dogs? Yeah, there's so many of us, and, you know, yeah. that grew during COVID as well. And I think mm. that you know, marketing-wise, but certainly lifestyle-wise, that's a, a great selling point for you because people have fallen in love with him as well and, you know, everyone wants to meet him and we're a bit disappointed he's not here today. But it's actually the travelling bit which is tricky. So yeah. now we've chatted. Shall we cook? Well, I'm not. Actually, why don't we get you to cook, Karen? No, no, you no, can no, help no. Us. There's only so much I could do. But um, I'm Will you better... do the eating part for me. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll do the eating part for. Okay. I'm happy to clearly. I'm happy to do that. Okay, so, all right. Uh, you'll help you. So you promise you'll help with the eating part. Absolutely. Are you sure. I, I'm. I have, okay. Good. You think I'm not going to help? With, hang on. Who's cooking? Are you cooking? <laughs> Is JB coming out? Is he helping too? I think, well, let's get JB to help me cook. How I, about, okay, so yeah, should we yeah. bring JB out here? Can you and tell start us a bit the... about him? Because yeah, look, sure. there's a photo of him, which I saw earlier. Wait, He's is like the a super... coming He will now? in a minute, but he looks like a supermodel. I took that photo. Yeah. Can well, I just say? <laughs> well, let me tell you. You might lose him to like modelling. There was a lot like of photoshopping modeling. done there. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm no, joking. no, he's he's gorgeous. And then he came out and he made him put on that little headpiece thing. Like it's like we're going to have, because we're having a competition later. Everyone's got their red and blue cards. You can flip it around. We'll tell you about that very shortly. We've never done this before. So know, for you, be we've never done cooking before. We've had to turn the smoke alarms off. We've, <laughs> had, to, we've had to change the whole auditorium, especially for you today. But, I'm sorry for making your life difficult. Well, Karen. no, I didn't. Don't worry. I didn't get up there on the ladder. But the fact is, is that to do the cooking, which is going to be uh, absolutely fantastic. So yes. what are we going to be, you going to be making? So we are going to be making chipotle salmon tacos, which is a recipe from the cookbook. And it comes with a taco slaw and a mango avocado salsa. Oh. So, yeah. Could you have done something that didn't make us go... <laughs> oh my gosh, well, my, my mouth is salivating. So now we've got, it's like something we prepared earlier. All the fresh ingredients you and your team have brought in. Yep. And uh, JB's out there and he's going to help you actually prepare this. Yep, we'll make it a team effort. All right, let's do that. Because we want to make it really fresh. So, oh, yeah, right. of course, perfect. So, let's should we that. bring JB out here and bring the cook table out? I think we will. So, we've just got to do a bit of manoeuvring because this is live. It's oh, not is this like the part done where online. The screen comes down and yeah, chops, okay. don't clunk so, you on the wait, head. Am I going back or forward? No, you're coming okay, forward. All right. So, okay. we're going to move. So the gentleman okay. can move the tables for us. Okay. 
While we stand right. here, the lights will go dim. We'll just chat amongst ourselves. Well, why don't Where we bring JB out I know, where's JB? Why is he being shy all of a sudden? He is being shy. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. JB. You're not. Here we go. Well, Hi, actually. Hello. It's on. It doesn't sound like it's on from up here, but it is down there. Don't worry. It's just our voice. Down. <laughs> now, so actually, Jean-Baptiste is his name, but that's uh, way too much of a mouthful to say. So we just call him JB. So <laughs> yeah, we, sim we simplify yeah. everything JB, as we can. That's right. <laughs> so we bring the screen down as we prepare for the next section of this evening. It's kind of a three-phase section. So I'm just checking. Does that work? Can you hear JB out there? Can you there? hear JB speak? Hello. There oh, we oh. go. There oh, could you we say go. a few more words just for a minute? Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Oh, oh yeah. you just want to hear his friend right. Jackson. I know, just a bit more. <laughs> what, what, are we cooking to, what are we cooking tonight? Some uh, chipotle salmon taco. There you go. We don't need to hear it any more. It doesn't sound the same when I, I say it's chipotle <laughs> salmon tacos, everyone. We're making chipotle salmon tacos. <laughs> now, <laughs> you, you, you two stir each other a lot as well. Like no, you're always so taking the mickey respect. out of you're each other. You're just so kind well, to each other. Well, there, there is that, of course, you know, professional respect, but there's a whole lot of banter that goes on as well. Is it as fun in reality as it looks like when we're watching? <laughs> oh, my goodness, what? <laughs> yes, yes, boss, yes, it is. Of course, of we'll course. We'll <laughs> is no, it... he's pretty ruthless, he's pretty ruthless. So I'll be finally chopping some carrots and you'll pull them out and line them up next to each other and go, there's six different sizes here. Oh. Like, it's just... This is it, when you bring the professionals in. I know, in. I know. So just a little bit about JB. So he's actually a real chef. Me, just a home cook. <laughs> I'm going to move um, you over a little bit more, move oh, this sorry. over. It's oh, just sorry. So we're in the, That's right. I'm, no, I'm no. right in the zone, actually. I'm there we right go. In we're the in the, we've, we've got special zones here. It's just so that we get it on camera well, when we're actually get, here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. Oh, yeah, we're no, no, okay. moving here. Yeah, Is yeah. he coming to cook with you? Of course. No, he's oh, taste good. testing. Oh, yes. You and Dozer yes. are taste testing. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah, so uh, JB's actually a real chef. I'm just a home cook. Um, so he actually, so he trained in France. He actually, you, didn't he work at some Michelin star restaurants in France and oh, yeah, New York? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Mission so um, he's, he's his French, it's nothing. Know, it's, it's like no big deal. He just used to run a Michelin restaurant in New York. No big deal. And now he's working for a food blogger. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of, so. but not just any food blogger. By the way, I kind of think this is the modern world, though, isn't it? I mean, we can't all go to the restaurants. This is it. And during yeah. this time, we haven't been able to go um, and visit so many of the places we love to. So yeah. learning to cook in our own homes, but also bringing the chef into our own lives has been so critical. Yes. Has it been hard for you when you say, and I love that word, I'm just a home cook? I am just a home cook. I know, but you kind of <laughs> go just, and it's like, yeah, just a home cook that, oh, what's his little hat's coming off? Yeah. <laughs> is it... Um, is it you know, you just made number one in Australia, by the way, is just a home cook. So I don't think we can, I don't think we have to take the word just out from now on and say, I'm a home cook. I'm a home cook. Okay, I'm, I'm a home cook. We've I'm got a to home kind cook. of. I'm a home yeah. cook. And I own it and I love it. I know, which is fantastic. <laughs> have you kind of, has there been a moment ever when you've kind of gone, mm, there are the chefs and then I'm the home cook? Absolutely. But you know what's really great about it? And yep. the reason why I brought a professional on, first of all, um, he's responsible for my food bank because I don't yeah. know anything about food safety and cooking at scale and all those things that you yep. get from actually training properly in a restaurant. Of so, um, so JB's responsible for my food bank um, and he runs that for me. And then I think the other thing is, because I am just a home cook, <laughs> a I home haven't cook? been trained properly. So I, I don't have some of the basics, the core mm. basics, like even how to fillet a fish properly. So I've, I taught myself through YouTube, but having an actual professional teach you things like that makes a world of difference. Yeah. Um, and I think the other thing is in the last 18 months since he joined me, the ability to like create recipes to a different standard yes. and test things absolutely to death because you think I'm fussy, he's even worse than me, so, <laughs> which, is, which is being great. Yeah, um, that's good and the though. other really cool thing is that I've been able to share recipes that use actual real restaurant, fancy restaurant techniques without actually letting people realise that that's what they're doing. Mm. So, yeah, it's really good. So, you know, things like a basic white wine sauce and things like that, like the creamy white wine sauce that yep. we did, it's something that you'll pay. You'll pay $40 for a plate of fish with a white wine sauce in a restaurant. And I published that on my website maybe nine months ago or something. And it's so easy. It's just a couple of little tricks that... 
um, that I, well, JB taught me and then, yeah, we wrote it up and, yeah, so it's been really cool. Which I love from that point of view. And tonight we're going to look at Australian salmon. So well, should yes. we head over yes, this way? Yes, let's head over here. Over to okay. the cooking area. All right. So um, what we're going to do today is we're making a chipotle salmon tacos, which is a recipe from the cookbook. And I want to... The main thing here is I want to show you guys how easy and quick it is because, um, although I do have JB helping me, so that's a bit of a cheat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> when I say it's really well, we can, quick and easy. <laughs> we, can sign, we can sign up for him. Do you get holidays? We could all have a little like 10 minutes each or something where we could do some cooking with him around, come to Gold Coast. Moving yeah. around from house to Absolutely. house. Absolutely. Okay, all right. No, that sounds good. We could do that. <laughs> so how hard is it to get all these ingredients? Because to me, I'm looking at everything and it seems that we I could buy this. We got the road. Yeah. At Woolworths. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Oh, now, tell us that because, of course, you don't live here. Yeah. So where did you get everything from today? Just Seriously. Just across the road at Rabina Shopping Centre. Oh, look, that was a nice ad. I love yeah. that. <laughs> they're, they're not one of our sponsors tonight, but they should be, and we might charge them after the fact, <laughs> is that so everything you got, you just went over. The, I mean, it's a great shopping centre, by the way, isn't it? But you were able to go over there and just grab it quickly. Yeah. didn't Except take a long the, time. The salmon, we got well, that's salmon because you were fussy. Fish. But that's because you were fussy. <laughs> Where did you get the salmon In from? Fact, Come forward a little bit. Five minutes ago from here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. From here, yeah. But, but uh, it's not that they didn't oh. have salmon. It's just that he wasn't happy with it. So. No, no. And yeah. that's... <laughs> That salmon is A grade, I can absolutely it see is, that. It is, so it is good salmon. Now it we've got to heat salmon. this up and because this isn't like your kitchen at home, we're kind of doing yeah. a BYO a right. prep, yeah. it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. So what okay. ingredients do we have? Yeah, Tell so us. what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how to cook the salmon part of the tacos and I'm going to get JB to make the um, avocado mango salsa. And I've cheated a little bit because I've measured out the ingredients, but he's not allowed to cheat. He's making everything from <laughs> scratch because he's a professional, so he can work faster than me. So I think the main thing is, I just want you guys, well, <laughs> firstly, to smell it's how fabulous unfair. it is. It is what? He's a professional. I'm just a home cook. Come on. Give me a break. You, you're adding wow. this just in a little it's, bit too much, I've got to say. It's just like... <laughs> I use it when it's convenient. When it's necessary. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to do a bit of a team effort here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start on the marinade. Super, super easy. Um, but what are you going to do? Are you going to start with the mango? Yeah, yeah, I'll start okay, with the mango first. Okay, cool. All right. So um, actually, can you show us how you cut a mango? Because I know yes. that sounds a little bit silly, just, but no, no. There, is, there is a bit of technique to it sometimes. So. Well, and mangoes have just come in season and the bowen we all love here in Queensland, don't we? And they're just on the shelves now and that looks like it's an early mango, I've got to say. Is, yeah. We kind of, yeah, we really hit our mango stride in about December yeah. here on, in southeast Queensland. So, so that one's a little bit firm, but you know when they're really ripe and they're yeah. quite soft and incredibly mm. juicy, they can be hard to... Yeah, yeah. so show, how, show us how well, you do it. And I even just cut the cheeks and the side bits out. Mm -hmm. And just remove the, use your sharp, your sharpest spoon, to just remove the, the cheeks out. And that's it. You can always save that for Well, yourself. then we, s that Karen, you can suck that if you want. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, nobody wastes <laughs> that. That's the best you, part, isn't it? It might become very unattractive <laughs> for the, the rest of the, I told you I should have had a bib on. Is it? I know, but yeah, it's, I'm going to tell you, it's very hard standing here looking at this deliciousness. And then same for the rest, I just... Because they're always tricky, these little ends, aren't they? <coughs> they are, yeah. So who else here already does their mango like this? Yeah? No, you're no? good. No? Come on. Can't see. Yeah, I see a few hands. And who does the hedgehog? No, the hedgehog, the yeah, yeah, I do the hedgehog. <laughs> but this technique is actually quite handy when you're trying to cut mango into a specific size, so smaller than a hedgehog. Because you know when okay. you do the hedgehogs, they yeah. end up with those giant cubes. So yep. yeah, doing it this way, you can control the size. So yeah, okay, well, while you're chopping that, I'm going to get started on the marinade. So super, super easy. We've got some basic spices that you can get from any, any um, grocery store. So we've got, is it onion or garlic powder? <laughs> That's onion, onion, <laughs> powder. onion powder. Onion powder, cumin, coriander, paprika. So I'm just going to put that in a bowl with a bit of salt. And then the last ingredient... What, actually, sorry, no, how, the bit of salt. What? You know, i just got to stop you there. What? what? That was a lot. How much was that, do you think? Because there you go, what's okay, a bit? Right. Is a okay, bit a bit okay, or okay. a bit? No, it was, it was one and a half <laughs> teaspoons of salt. Thank but you. it was cooking salt. It was not table salt. So, ah, yeah, so yes. very important point there, actually, and it's probably one of the most common mistakes that um, people make in the kitchen is not knowing the difference between table salt and cooking salt. Cooking salt, the grains are larger than table salt, and then if a recipe specifically calls for cooking salt, you need to make sure you use that because mm. a teaspoon of cooking salt 
equals three quarters of a teaspoon of table salt, just because of the size of the granules in terms of the level of saltiness that you get. Um, so if one of my wow. recipes says mm. use a teaspoon of cooking salt and you use table salt, then it's going to be too salty. But the other thing is that the grains of table salt is so fine that, especially for something like salmon, which is actually quite a delicate fish, if you use table salt, it actually goes into the flesh too much. Um, so... Mm. Yeah, you really need to be... Thank you. Yeah, just noting the difference there. So, and, and lastly, the other thing is with table salt, you can't pinch it like you can with cooking salt because the grains are so fine. I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's just like sand through your fingers. So with cooking salt, you can just control the amount that you use a lot better. So, yeah, that was a lot to say about salt. I didn't mean to say that much about No, salt. we needed to I know that. <laughs> more no. exciting things like chipotle powder. So smoky, spicy, this is our secret ingredient in the marinade. Um, very happy that it's much more widely available in Australia these days. So, yeah. How are we going with the stove there? That's I'm very fine. paranoid I'm going to burn the salmon because I don't know this stove. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. So, just those spices in. Then we're going to put in a little bit of olive oil just for the liquid. And then lastly, we're going to do a lime. Can I bring your chopping board? Yeah, Thank ahead. you. Does everyone do this with their limes to get the most juice out of it? So, you roll mm. it like that and then you're going to get even more juice out of it than... Not doing that. So, <laughs> and was that extra virgin? Did that make? Does it make a difference when you're adding it in the way you are? To be honest, not for a marinade like yep. this that's packed full of other flavours. But um, yeah, sometimes it does. So a little bit of lime, and that is it. So we're just going to mix it up. Can you pass me the spatula, please? Thank you. Thank you. So I'll just give that a quick mix. Actually, I'm a little bit short on lime here. Do you have any lime juice by any chance? But can I steal some of your lime juice, JB? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, actually, that would be good. You've got stronger hands than me. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Perfect. So it should look... That's perfect. I think that's good. So it should look like this. We've got a nice close-up of the sludge. Tasty sludge at that, though. <laughs> that looks good. So that's the consistency we're looking for. And then all you do is put the salmon in. And now normally we'd marinate it for uh, 20 minutes. Oh, actually, just before we talk about that, so the salmon. The salmon, you can see here that I've cut it quite thinly. So literally yeah. I've just taken fillets and I've cut them into one and a half centimetre thick strips. And it's two reasons. One is it'll marinate uh, a lot quicker. So you get the marinade in in just 20 minutes. You get the flavour all the way through. Um, and the other reason is just a better surface to flesh ratio. So more flavour, basically. So, yeah, we're just going to toss that in the marinade. And normally I'd leave it just for 20 minutes, um, just to get it nicely fused with flavour. But for time reasons today, I'm just going to coat it and then cook it up. So, yeah. So while I'm doing that, JB, do you want to just talk through where you're yeah, at with so yours? So after the mango, we're going to slice a quarter of red onion so that that's just spill. And yeah. I notice that you're using um, what I'm going to call a cheap little knife. Yeah, it, that's a small <laughs> serrated knife. No, they are, they're fantastic, they are fantastic, those knives, yeah, they, if you don't have those. Well, they, and they, you don't have to, to sharp them. No. They stay, they stay sharp all the time. Because and as you say, they are cheap. They're fantastic, yeah. yeah. Well, knives cost so much. Mm. So but are you going to show off how fast you dice an onion? Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, so you just... I'll time you. Ready, set, yeah. go. One, two. Three, four, no, no, five, so so second, pressure, six. No? Don't buckle under the pressure. Come on, you're a professional. <laughs> there you go. There you go. She's tough, isn't she? <laughs> Like oh, he day. gives it back as good as he gets, honestly. <laughs> it, I always find it hard doing the onions, though. You kind of well, get to that corner. It's only a quarter, so oh, there's can, always an a, excuse. Always an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. I, I was impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Don't ask me to chop it on yeah, stage. That's, that's why he's doing the salsa and I'm just doing the salmon. Look how easy my part is. Oh, you're done now. You just hang around for exactly. 20 minutes. Exactly. I'm just sitting here waiting. Hurry up, JB. Come on. <clears throat> I want to start cooking the salmon, but you're so slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, no, I will start cooking the salmon, actually. Um, just move it a bit higher. You think? Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. Now, choosing yeah, these as well, these little suckers... Um, how do you choose ones that you... Because I think chilies are something that we, you know, we all look at. Some of us grow them at home, um, making sure you're using the right one for the right experience, not obviously touching your face or anyone else's after you've used them. But uh, this one's a little groovy one. Is he a bit lighter in uh, flavour for summer? Jalapenos. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, they're, they're, 
They're not really spicy, in my opinion. No. no, no. And you, yeah, you won't get but any. But you're a any chef. Surprise. You don't think they're you that spicy? I mean, you say that as right, a chef. Eat one. <laughs> Come on, eat one. She, chefs say this stuff, don't all. they? Huh? It's like, it's not. You need it all? There's always a challenge, Yeah, I'll eat right? one. You ready? You go ahead. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> I have to eat one too. Oh, this isn't even your, hang on, Is I've got water, water back here. Oh, no, your water's Where's gone. Your water? They took you, oh, we need water. <laughs> Oh my okay, gosh, that's one. hilarious. That's a really spicy one. No. Oh, we well, have to borrow this for a oh, moment. I got the spicy you borrow cup. this. We'll get you we'll get you a new cup. One moment, please. Here's one we prepared earlier. Well, I'm taking one cup team or need to put one back. <laughs> that is so funny. Maggie. Why would I do that? I know. It's like, oh, because the chef said, oh no, they're not that spicy. Chefs always say, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got the spicy piece, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, that was a whole piece. It wasn't just a little bit. I know. Okay, oh I'm going to do the salmon now. So the beauty of um, another thing <laughs> about cutting the salmon this thin is it literally cooks in one minute on each side. So you talk about fast dinners. How fast is that, right? Mm. All right. What are you up to? Okay. Avocado. Yeah, show us how you cut an avocado, oh. JB. So Can you smell this? Yes, you're close enough to smell it, right? How good does it smell? Yes? <laughs> Thumbs up. I'm sure you everyone knows of the best way to remove the pit. What? Mm, you know, yeah, yeah. Mm. Too, yeah. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Show same, us how you cut the up. Yep. Same as the mango. Mm. You can use the same spoon, it's fine. There we go. I like how you said a sharp spoon as well, because that's not something we kind of think about well, with spoons, yeah. is it really? Yes. Yeah, Just having handy. a sharp spoon. spoon. Yeah. yeah. And I just saw so we we go we trying to do the same size, size. as the mango. Yeah, of course. Keep it even. So I'm just gonna cut it in half this way, lengthways, and then cut it that way. Can everyone smell? Or can the front row smell this? Okay, mm. it smells good, right? <laughs> we hope you ate before you arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I know I really wanted to be able to make 400 of these, but yeah. No. We really wanted you to as well, I've got to JB's say. JB's good, but he's not that good. <laughs> that's right. It's a little, it's a bit different, isn't it, when you're doing it on the run like this? Yeah, oh, that looks, no, that is. salmon it looks is. absolutely amazing. It's though. taking a little longer than it normally does. I'm just trying to get used to this stove. Excuses, excuses. Now, um, when you make a salsa like this, can you keep it in the fridge? Because I see you've got avocado in there, so obviously that browns off. Are you able to keep it for any period in the fridge? No, not not not, not a salsa on the like day. This. Yeah, the avocado goes brown, so you really want to you really want to make it fresh. All right, we ready for the flip? I hope it's really nicely golden and not burnt. Does it smell burnt? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Yum. Mm, yum. Are you ready for dinner, Karen? Well, I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's like, nay, I could probably eat it all, but B, it feels like a bit bad standing out here going, oh, that's nice. <laughs> How are you all doing at dinner time? <laughs> but it's okay. Don't. Don't feel bad. Don't feel we'll, bad. No, because we'll all be laughing at you because you've got, like, food know, dripping down like, your top. So, I know, they didn't black, give me an smart, apron. It's, like, hilarious. Black. Like, no apron. For, oh, no, maybe I'll wear one of those down the front. That's a good idea. <laughs> now, what about your little tacos as well? Because you... Um, actually cook those off a little bit earlier. Is that something you'd normally do just so that you're ready at home in time? Yeah, that gives you a little extra, extra flavour yes. on the taco, and that's always so you just more enjoyable. Cooked it, because you've got lines on there. I always wonder how you get the lines. Oh, this one is just, we just grilled it. That okay, so you just really, grilled really it. Really, really high uh, yep. uh, yeah. hot grill, and literally like five to 10 seconds on each side. Char equals flavour. Yeah. Yum. Mm. So that's it. That's it. Normally, so on, on a normal stove that I actually understand, <laughs> one minute on each side is all you'll need for the salmon, um, and then you just rest it for a few minutes to let the juices get, go back into the protein. Um, and then, now we're ready. Well, actually, he's I'm still cooking. Gonna, yeah, I'm finishing. All right, hurry, come on. We'll just stand I'm here and watch you. I'll take you as an example. <laughs> no, but the way... I'll slow down my game for you. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You, you two so are that, cheeky. That's just a little bit of coriander. Coriander, yep. For the two that yeah, fresh, smells fresh delicious. Yep. And then the dressing, what are we putting and on the dressing? We just, I just have some lime juice ready. Don't you think that the avocado cubes are a little bit big? Can you get in close no, to that? No, 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 Do you no. think those avocado cubes are a bit big? Doesn't the recipe look, say look. one centimetre cubes? 
I think the recipe Bring says the one centimetre measure. cubes. We could be here Where's for 80 measure? goes, you know, like this is this is number one. This is number one. We could be here for quite... No one's got anything else to do, have they? No what? late night shopping tonight? No? Good, okay. Oh, no, yeah, look, that, oh. I, I feel like that's like 1.25 <laughs> point centimetres. Exactly one point. <laughs> well, they are exactly the same, but they're just a little bit. What are you going to do with the extra little bit? No wastage. <laughs> we, we don't waste it. We eat it. Oh, oh, that's it. This is a home oh, cooking God. piece. There we go. It's all right. It's a little big, but we'll survive. So we just finish <laughs> with a bit of uh, lime, lime yep. juice. To Beautiful. Keep, to add a bit of acidity and uh, keep the avocado nice and green. And a bit of salt. Mix it up. And which type of salt? The cooking. Always cooking Always salt. Cooking always salt. cooking yep. salt, see? Mm. See, the, I mean, the, th the thing is, is if you see, but if you season your food properly when you're cooking it, then you so shouldn't need yeah. any table salt, right? Mm. And you can have a, a... Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, it's so good. It's such a good combination. So the smoky, spicy salmon flavour, and then you've got that fresh avocado with the, with the sweet mango, it's, yeah, and the tang from the lime. It's just an incredible combination, so... Yeah. And what about the slaw? Oh, and then we've got our slaw. So we call this a taco slaw. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically just cabbage and green onion that's coated in like a lime, sour cream, mayonnaise dressing. And then you, it's just like any other coleslaw. If you just leave it for a while, it wilts. It comes all nice and floppy. So it's perfect for putting inside tacos because it just kind of like, you know, melds in with everything else. Mm. So, yeah. But this is a great family dish as well. Like this is, is something that the kids can get involved with, particularly over summer. And it's in your cookbook. So it's fantastic and nice and easy to follow. And the, the, I mean, this is why I like tacos because you just literally put out all the bowls like this and then everybody just helps themselves. And so goes. it's sort of, you know, half the work you leave for everyone else to do. Yeah. DIY, I love DIY format cooking. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. And especially for summer. And I think that the colours though as well, like you've got your bright summer colours. Yes. You've got your beautiful deep reds of the salmon yes. and then you've got your light slaw. Exactly. Should we put some together? Yes, put them together, All please. Right. right, show us how to do All it. All right, so, I mean, there's really no rules in terms of what order you put them in, So, but I like to start with a little bit of slaw, create a little bed. It's kind of like, acts like a bit of a glue for the, everything yes. else that you put on it. Um, and then you just literally, with the salmon, all you do is just break it up into chunks. And another reason why I like this dish is, I mean, salmon, let's face it, it's not cheap, um, but no. recipes like this let you you know, stretch less salmon further. Yep. So you can you can serve four people with this. Um, so yeah, it's just a little economical tip. And then, so there's the salmon, a little bit of salmon. That's a little generous on the salmon, but that's okay. That, yes, and then were. we just top it with the giant pieces of salsa. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it's like, well, I mean, look. It's yeah, like, that's perfect. Oh, there's no, room, there's no like, room for anything else. Look well, at that. Well, because, you know, see, oh, look, they hilarious. can't even stay on. It's okay. It's all right. We'll survive. We shall survive. There we go. How good does that look? That looks, that looks great. There we go. Let's for they you. They look fabulous. Can you hold the camera and eat at the same time? Oh, I'm actually kidding, but you can try if you want to. I didn't think you actually would, but you totally can. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> okay, Karen, do you want to try and eat it? I just see it's going to be so dreadful. It is going to, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess and that's okay. <laughs> I need like... All right. A bib, oh, a, a serving, <laughs> add or something. Like Take that is hilarious. Bite. Take there a massive go. bite. Massive bite. I, I feel only, like she's telling. That's like, the only. That way. is the biggest. The tacos in my house, are like a third of that size. These are very well, generous. Well, that's because aren't of they? the giant salsa, Karen. It was. <laughs> they would be more normal size if the salsa was a normal size. But <laughs> I don't know how to do this on the cooking shows. <laughs> what most authors don't make you eat on stage like no. this. No, <laughs> this is a first. It's oh, yum! Time. Is it good? <laughs> oh my god! Good. It's a good mm. combination, isn't it? So how great oh, is this yes. for a summer dish, though? Because the mm. the salmon, it's actually really great done on the barbecue, and it's a good way to make a lot of food for when you're having groups of friends over. You just got the salmon there ready to go, and then it literally does take you know. When you've got a barbecue or stove that you, you know, um, it literally does take one minute on each side and then you just lay everything out and, yeah. Everyone it's ready to own. go. Yeah. How long can that be out before you actually serve it then? Like, if oh, you've, are you refrigerating you it? Yeah, 30 minutes to an hour yeah. would be fine. Okay, you so just maybe toss now. it with the lime juice and that'll help keep it keep it. Keep green. it. And yeah. you can taste those acidic flavours within the lime as well. Like, it's not... You almost think it would be sweet with the cabbage, with the slaw. You almost think there'd be a real sweet element to it. 
but you can actually taste the feistiness as well. Yeah. No, I sound yeah. like I'm doing this for a living. You sound like I, really? a food writer. I know, I just want to go, bye bye, <laughs> and just keep eating because it's so absolutely delicious. I'm going to prepare this for later and have it later. Is that all right? Absolutely. I feel like I've got coriander Absolutely. in my teeth now. We can just try and package all this up for you if you like. Yeah, that's right. I'll take it home. My husband will be so happy. Oh, my goodness. I think there'll be 400 people at the door going, oh, no, you're not leaving. I'm taking it <laughs> somehow. But um, they are. But was there, didn't I say, was there a second one done? Where did your second one go to? Over there. Oh, Over there. there. Yeah. Now, more? We're not, this is not on the list, but it seems to me a kind of a little bit of a waste is that... There is a man in the first row, sir. Are you, first of all, this is official, everyone's heard it. Are you allergic to anything? <laughs> salmon. Well, that salmon. you're allowed He's to. He's allergic to salmon. That you're allowed to tell us about. Are you allergic to anything? Peanuts. Is there any peanuts in here? No. Would you like to have a little taste? Come up here. <laughs> what if we put, give the plate to him? Do you, you mind? You well, no, the there's cover. two in there, so well, I have you, to like. Have to move this share. on. Share. You're going to share. Thank you. Do you mind? <laughs> oh, it's one we prepared. Yep. This is not on the... I just think I can't have them sit here. I know they are Now, I just good. want to tell you, you're the only man in Australia to receive this. <laughs> <laughs> so so enjoy, because everyone else is going, rats, I should have got here earlier. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're giving... Oh, we've got a little serving. Yep. You didn't give me there a serving. You Madam, didn't need one. You had a, Madam yeah. in the pink. <laughs> Oh, look, Sonia's jumped. Oh, look, she's Sonia. running forward. <laughs> Sonia, are you allergic to anything? No, I'm not allergic. Are you sure? Okay, I've just got to check. I don't want to be doing mouth to mouth with, <laughs> with coriander in my teeth as well while we're here. We do have the first aid person here. Well, look, we didn't expect that. Well done to you two. Can't waste it. Can't waste it. Can't waste it. That was amazing. But wait, there's more. Oh, look, she's got a friend going. Oh, like, don't worry about Nagi there. Just get the, girl, the one of your girlfriend. Now, it just gets better from here, doesn't it? It does get better from here because four of you are going to be selected to come onto stage and see how good you really are. <laughs> now, we do have prizes. That kind of helps, doesn't it? Because you go, oh, what could I win? No, he's not about, oh, how did, you didn't even get any. What were we thinking? We're a bit, we left him out on his own there for a minute. Oh, yeah, the taste testing. The, the taste, taste testing. <laughs> we ignored that was me tonight. So we're going to just move the tables around a little bit and the team from Gold Coast Libraries are going to organise four people from the audience. So it would be helpful if we could have house lights up a little bit. Well, yeah, but that, that would be great. <laughs> just so we can see you out there. Uh, no, you just the crate over there. Thank you. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello, there's so many. Wasn't that good? I know, it was absolutely fantastic. And the flavour was just, it was unexpected actually, some of those pieces. Now, I think Will's here as well. And you're going, is someone helping you choose? Uh, Put the girls up. Okay? Shannon's over, Shannon's here. So I know that you will all want to do this and we can't take everyone so we apologise because we'd love to spend the next seven weeks teaching you all. <laughs> but um, we're going to choose two and two will be on Nyagi's side so you'll actually be working with her on the red team and two will be on the just home cook side and then, <laughs> and then we have the official chef side as well with JB on the blue side. So um, I know that you are now going to organise your... Two people and two people, yep. they get special aprons and up we come, getting ready. Is it, who what, wants to join? I know. Who Every, wants to join? So everyone wants to join. Also, don't be afraid. It's just a bit of fun, but yeah. there are going to be prizes. Um, and yeah, bit everyone of taste wants to. as well. So we need to take it, yeah. Who wants to join? Do you want me to take a photo from up here? <laughs> You're right. We've got everyone. Oh, we've got a couple. Good. All right, we've got two, we've got two. And what are we going to be doing so, so we, that while we're here, okay, while they're coming out? Okay, so we are out, making oh, my mum's gyoza. So oh. no pressure. I think we're doing Instagram, we're Instagram living this. So she's at home watching this, making sure that we do her proud. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. did everybody hear that? Your mum is at home gyoza. watching this and we're going live <laughs> on Insta. And so it'll be showed, actually your mum will be, your mum will be testing at home because she's a tough, She's a tough oh, kind she'll of be challenger. Critiquing yeah, she she'll will be critiquing be. it. She'll be sitting on her iPad watching it on, on Instagram and she'll probably be yelling at the screen if we're doing it wrong. She will be, Not I think. Not at the people coming up, mind you. <laughs> she'll be nice to you guys. She'll be yelling at me if I'm doing Fantastic. it wrong. Fantastic. Now, our first. Now, this is your first. What's your name? Phoenix. Phoenix. I like Theron. Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Give Phoenix a round of applause, please. 
Phoenix, how old are you? Were you allowed to ask? 14. He's 14. <laughs> Do you cook at home? Oh, somewhat. somewhat. Hang on. Who did Phoenix come with? His mother, who's now laughing. And is, does Phoenix cook at home? He makes a big mess. I'm like, but does, okay, forget the mess bit. Does he cook well? Yes, mum, yes. You've got to step up. You've got to give it to her. Yes, mum, mum, something happened over there, but what she was saying was, you're amazing in the kitchen and you do a really great job. Mum, you've got to lift them up, lift them up. Okay, so, right, so you know once you do this tonight, there's going to be a high expectation in your household. Are there other kids in your household, Phoenix? Yeah. Yes? No, no, everyone's A brother as well. He's going to hear about this because mum or someone else in your family is filming it. Your dad is texting people now. Look at him. I can see him. <laughs> He's literally texting people now. Right, next, Phoenix. May the force be with you. What's your name? Penny. Penny, hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello, do you cook yes. at home? All the time. Have you cooked these recipes or something like this before? Not this particular one, but from the Nagi cookbooks and oh, all, yes. you know, have you? Tons. All the time. All the yep. time. What's I'd your favourite? Oh, that's Ricotta so gnocchi. good. Yeah. Oh. Italian fast food, I call it. Yeah. 30 minutes start I to finish. I yep. absolutely love it. Oh. Yeah. Well, this will be good for the family as well tonight. It's pork, so I hope no one's allergic to pork Perfect. that's up here. Perfect. So you're on the red team. So when you've got your blue and red ones, as we go through, we're going to be based on speed. As we can see with the taco, we're also going to be based on the amount of filling within because some people, including you, according to your mum, don't put quite enough in. Well, I get accused of being stingy with my fillings. So, yeah, I need to make sure that I do her proud and make them as plump as possible. Plump as possible. And the folds. It's all about the folds as well. It's all about well. those beautiful folds. But it is just a bit of fun, so please don't be nervous. Um, and, yeah, it's, we're going to do a little bit of a race to see who can make so we'll team now. Wait, which one? What, what colour am I? You're red. Oh, OK. Oh, you guys are my team. Oh, suddenly. Okay. Oh, okay. look at you. Oh, oh I just realised. You're so happy. <laughs> so, so no, that's, no, that's right. We'll move you over here according to when we get sorted out. So the winners win and the ones who don't win move to Wagga. I think, I think that's kind of fair, isn't it, really? Because, you know, everyone will be here like, they're the ones that didn't win the competition. <laughs> so now, what's your name? Missy. Missy, and where are you from? From the Gold Coast. Well, well, well yes, but whereabouts? What <laughs> area? Shen Park. Park. Oh, so you've had a little drive down here tonight. A little drive. Good well, on thanks. you. And have you ever cooked any of the recipes? Oh, my gosh. I probably cook your recipes about five, six times a week. Oh, she oh, said she wow. cooks them about five or six times a week. What's your favourite? <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's like choosing a baby. How do you choose? I make the bolognese all the time. That's a big hit in our house. My husband's actually at home cooking, looking after the children, making the um, one pot Greek lemon chicken rice. Oh, yum. One oh, pot he's good. Chicken. Who here has tried the one Thank pot you. Greek chicken and lemon rice? Yep. <laughs> it's a firm favourite. <laughs> I love that one. Um, oh, there's just so many. Um, I made the cakes the other day, the cupcakes, or the, the vanilla cake, but we made them as cupcakes, and that was a hit. My little boy said, thank you, thank you, Mama, so much. Oh, that's and so I told cool. them we were making cakes together. And um, do you work or do you just cook all day? No, you sound like I, you're cooking all day. <laughs> but there's a big food obsession in our house. That sounds um, like yes, it. Yes, I, I do find time to work amongst all of the cooking that we do. Good, but I love that. But this is part of life now, isn't it? It's finding the joy in your own home. So good luck to you. You're with our chef tonight. And then who else are we? Oh, look at you. You've got your little taste piece on and everything. Of course. Okay. Now, name? Megan. Megan, and where are you from? Uh, Benogan. Benogan. Oh, you've had a bit of a drive tonight too. Yeah, not too bad. Down the highway, not yeah, too far. Not too far. Have you cooked any of this before? Um, I cook, yeah, I've cooked plenty of the recipes. I think my favourite's probably the lasagna. Oh, sure. great. Oh, like, yeah. It's always just oh, so homey. It is homey, yeah. isn't it? It's great yeah. for winter, but it's good for summer with salads as well. Yeah, definitely. So people always love lasagna. It's like an old time favourite. So thank goodness we didn't get someone up here who went, uh, is this the Tupperware convention? I'm not quite... I've never cooked one of these before. You have true followers here tonight. So we're going to move the blue team um, just to this side Actually, here. we're all going to start on this yes. side because I'm going to do one... Uh, I'm going to do a demo of one of okay. the gyozas and then what we're going to do is separate into the teams and we're going to have our little fun little competition. Um, so it's going to be a challenge for first team to wrap six gyozas. So could be two each or you can make JB do six and you guys just stand there and heckle him. Um, yeah, <laughs> however you want to do it. However you want to do it. Um, we're also going to get... Um, we're actually going to get the audience to vote on the best looking gyozas and the most generously filled ones because that is very important in my family. So, um, and then we're going to taste them. So, oh, 
very the best good. part, right? <laughs> so we're going to gather around this table so to start with. So we're going to with. gather around this table. Can I just grab one of those before I start, please? That would be so Indeed wonderful. Indeed you can. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, actually, I might, if, I, if I can get you guys to stand there and then I'll stand here. Are you right to maybe are. come over I'll there? Are you okay you to come through there? Fantastic. Beautiful. All right. Let's do this. So... Again, everything, actually, I was about, the big fat lie was about to come out of my mouth. I was about to say that everything is from the <laughs> everyday grocery store, but it's actually not true. Um, this, so this is the, the filling for the gyoza, is um, pork, and the ingredient that is, that's in here, that's a primary ingredient in gyoza that makes it gyoza and not just any other dumpling, is garlic chives. So you can't always get that in large grocery stores. Um, quite often we have to go to an Asian store. But even if you can't get it, just use green onion and a little bit of garlic and you'll get a very similar result. So, um, and then other than that, it's Did things like soy sauce, um, ginger, sesame oil, garlic, so everyday ingredients. And then the wrapping that we use are these round dumpling wrappings. And these you can get at the large grocery stores, but also obviously at Asian restaurants. Uh, Asian restaurants, Asian stores, Asian stores as well. So, gather around close, especially Team Nagi. Get in real close. Make uh, sure you Hank. watch carefully. <laughs> yeah, the, oh my, sabotaging already. You've learned from him already. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm not okay. sure that's fair. Now, JB is also going to start cooking oh, over yeah, here, so, so you we, get yeah. to taste because they take about what is it, eight minutes to cook? Eight minutes to cook. Yeah. So, so you're, you're going about to, to taste put a batch on for JB. us, JB. Yes. Yeah. So at the end, awesome. you'll get to taste his. So actually, you so start we might it. just. So JB, when you're about to cook, do you want to yell out and we'll get you to talk through what you're doing over there? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, great. Mm. Okay. All right. So what you do is if you're right-handed, you put the wrapping in your left hand and then you get, you just dip your finger in water and you run it along the edge closest to you. So just the half closest to you. Then you get a teaspoon of filling and then put it in the center. And then this is the part where you can basically be simple and just fold it in half and seal it, and that's fine. No one will judge. However, oh. if you want to... <laughs> Did you see that? However, no one will judge. However, <laughs> if, you, if you want to win tonight, <laughs> we need to do four or five pleats, and it's just simply like that, like so. There we go. Easy, Is mum right? happy? Yeah. That's it. And then you just pop it on the plate. Um, now, what is on the plate? Oh, that's corn flour. It's yep, just to beautiful. stop it from sticking. So, Thank you. Good. Yeah. Now, you guys, do you reckon you're ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Oh. Come on, Phoenix. Come on, Phoenix. We got this, right? All right. Let's go. Oh, wait, JB, are you going to yeah. cook first or are you no. going to... What I'm do you reckon? I'm just about to cook the first batch. Okay. So do you want to just talk through what you're doing? we're going to keep you on this side for a minute just while yeah, it's cooking? Yeah, maybe need the camera. Yep. Can we, can we get the we'll camera on the, the pan camera over here so we can, so we can talk see through how to cook it? Yeah. Come around this way. You're right. So the, thing, the, the unique thing about gyoza is that the underside is golden and so a bit crispy. Yeah. Yeah. And the, yeah. top, the top side is steamed. So basically the way you cook it is it's semi-pan fried and semi-steamed. So you put them in some oil in a pan that has a lid, but even if you don't have a pan with a lid, and actually this is the only pan I have with a lid specifically for gyoza, um, you can literally just put a baking tray on top of any fry pan that you've got and it'll have the same effect, or a larger pot or another fry pan on top of a smaller fry pan and it'll have the same effect. Um, so you just put a bit of oil in there and heat it up and then you just cook it until the underside is golden. Then, JB, do you want to talk about what happens next? Yeah, so we cook it, like it's fine if you want to do it separate, separate if you want to put them separately, that, that is not a deal killer. I think just Yumiko's watching, so we have to make sure we do it properly. <laughs> do it the Yumiko way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once after a minute or two, you'll probably get a nice crisp uh, underneath. And that will be the time to pour, uh, with, so we pour like a third of a cup of uh, water and straight away we close it. So that mm. was good. It's going to like uh, power steam it and uh, cook underneath at the same time. And uh, the idea is, uh, is after three or four minutes, the water reduces, the steam will have cooked the, the top and uh, the crisp will have stayed like, like that. So let's have a look and see if the underside is golden because once the underside is golden, yeah. we're good to go. We yeah. just pour mm. the water in. Yeah. And then we can start the competition. So and how do we know quick? when it's ready? So it's... <clears throat> You right? Yeah. Look at that. That's my favourite part. Ooh. 
Yeah. 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 So you know it's ready because the top of the, the wrapping at the top becomes yes. semi-translucent. Okay. Um, and also the time that it takes for the water to evaporate, the meat has to be cooked by then. So, okay. Thank yeah, you. That's a, it's, a, it's, a good, um, it's a good timer in itself. And of course, because you're cooking pork, you want it to be cooked. Exactly. You want it so, to be fully cooked, but not overcooked because nobody likes, dry, nobody likes dry pork. No. <laughs> nobody likes dry pork. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? ready? Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's oh, get no. ourselves lined up here, Team Nagi. Yes, make right. sure we're... Okay. Hey, are we allowed to line up? Are we allowed to line up the wrappers? Uh, I, think we, I think we can. Oh, uh, wait. One, I think we one can. moment. We'll We've got to be... Look, she's... We're just like... We've got... <laughs> okay, she's cheating already. Yeah, you get... Yeah. Oh, are we allowed to? Oh, yes, let's just do oh, wait, it. No, we're like, look just at you. I'm just checking. Oh. I'm just checking. Chef, I know you can now um, wait, yeah, what's he line doing? them up. What's he doing over there? No, we're not showing you. Is he we're cheating? Don't worry about it. Wait, what's he... No, no, we're, we're, hard, we're hiding. Starting. No, he's not starting. Yeah, okay. We're not starting till <laughs> okay, I say, right. ready, set, go. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Your mother's now horrified at home going... Okay. Oh, look, she's giving Wait, secret what? advice. Just divide this into, like, okay. Get it Are you ready? On your mark. Oh, no. Wait, 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 oh, wait, look what? there. What? You're cheating. No, oh, we're this not is... using it yet. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. Let's see. She's yeah, helping them. Five. Come, Chef. You've got... Yeah, yeah, get in there. Get in there. She's already... Oh, there we go. Now what's he doing? I can hear whispering. Nothing. Over no, there. there's nothing He's over here to look at. Oh, yeah. sorry, Dozo. Oh. Okay, get your water. Get your okay. water in it. Okay, on your mark. On your marks. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've got what to you? start. Wait. Why oh, why not? Separating. What are you doing? You're cheating. Get, get back to your little station. Yeah. They're, they're going to overfill. Their dumplings are going to burst. <laughs> Listen. Putting off the other team. That we need them to be able On your to marks. Wait, 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 get wait, 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 so it's all one oh, the water. I forgot the water already. <laughs> it's all one side. Are you helping okay, as water well? On the bottom, bottom Aren't half. they supposed to be doing and it? Stay calm. So how are you so fast? How are you so stay fast? Calm. This is so good. Okay. Well done. I have to look at the, the, the ones okay. cooking at the okay. same time. This is the interesting part. When That's we practice yes, this, yes, yes, they yes, weren't good. going to be cooking. One they down. One down. Five to go. Here we go. Here they we go. were going to be watching okay. and not actually right. doing it. But they've got so excited, they've now joined in. Yeah. Okay, here we go. How's that going? It's, good. it's actually, oh, that's yeah, nice. That's a nice I shape. Like, I feel like mine was a bit, yeah, I know, mummy's in my ear. I'm worried that mine is a little bit stingy. Your mummy's in your ear my and she's saying you're mind. underfilling. She is, she is. I'm just going to check what they're doing. No, you can't check over this Why table. Not? Sorry, there's no, there, there, stop, there is no checking. You've only got one down. That, Don't worry, we're winning, we're, we're winning. Good. Take your time, take your time. That's Two. right, take yeah, your time, yeah, JV. Yeah, no, perfect. Okay. That's it. Now, it's, don't forget, it's first to the post, but that's only one, set two, one. One, two, three, four, five. We've only got one more to go. Six. Boom. We're done. Game Boom. over. <laughs> Game over. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I think that's the one that I made. Too. I think that was like I I half a second earlier. first, okay. right, just half just a one. second behind. <laughs> so what is next now that you've kind of cheated oh, is, um, oh, what is that? What? What's that thing? It's a new, it's a modern, it's, it's a, a modern, modern version. style gyoza. It's a modern, it's, it's not, no, hey, okay, have, no, another have another practice go. It's faux Asian. Have another practice go. It's faux Asian. Well, while we're getting Can ready, we've got time. And focus on what's oh, up. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, do the flip. Do oh, the flip. that looks Don't good. Really stick, it fell yeah. apart. That looks oh, good. Mum's going to be time. mad at you. <laughs> Look at Take that. Take your time. It's all right. Oh, yum. Look no, at no, that. You don't How have to good make more, does that but look? Just will help out so that you've got a perfect one. Keep it together, JB. Keep it Here together. Oh, that's oh. perfect. Yeah. Okay. Mum will be proud of you. You've done her proud. You've done they her proud. They are spectacular. Right? They're oh, they're perfect. like wobbly little jellies. Yeah. On the upside. Go. They're perfect. Oh. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, can you see? Oh. Oh. How good is that? Now, I know the eating part is important, oh, but even more Back important is yes. the us, being, us winning. So, the announcement of us as winners. So, the announce yes, well, I feel we have to do I think okay. you've got to do that, team. Or All we're... right. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Do we get bonus points for making more? No, you only had we to make eight. six. What I know, but you... We oh. made eight. But Two, four, six, eight. That was my fault because I said keep making them. So it was only based on the first six. I feel like there should be bonus points for that. So there are Do no bonus, there should points. Be bonus points for that. So what, you made Dozo, that she's very no, hard. That is, no, no, this is an no, innovative new style of gyoza that Phoenix <laughs> has created. It's, 
It's a modern, modern Asian version. Leave it alone. It's fabulous. Actually, what? Don't mutter under your breath about these fabulous skills. Is he kidding? Me? Okay. What? Okay. What's the next part? Oh, we're, oh, we're right, checking so, the folds. Well, so, the well, folds. Speed wise, who won, Karen? <sighs> okay, <laughs> you won by half a second. High five! Go, Phoenix! All right. Okay, do you need an up close and personal of our fabulous girls? Okay, just it's hard not to let her win, isn't it, really? <laughs> How good is that? It's like, How good is that? No, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Area. I'm You've like, got more no, no, no. crisping area. You did. And then what's this? Oh, what's yeah. this? <laughs> what do you mean? What's with the open This is one? your chef. What's with that one? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's I told you. Don't, don't told pick on you. your competitors. I They've come you. from the audience. They've Too given of their time. <laughs> Too much Look at the other five. You got They're greedy. So than... Greedy. This is greedy. <laughs> <laughs> they did overfill that one, I have to say, but anyway. Okay, so. Okay, it's a bit hard with the folds. I'm going to add the folds up. That is a beautiful fold, whoever did that. Who, are, who thought in my life I'd be talking about folds on a gyoza? <laughs> is that that's got six folds. That's fair. Mum will be very oh, happy with that. Oh, no, wait. Is that theirs or ours? No, that is oh. not yours. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, you won't take them all. I was going to say bonus points for bonus folds. They, there's <laughs> beautiful pinching there. Pinching's a term we need to use. We made eight. Yeah, but yours... Let me stop with that. I've got to say, like, let's just look at this, folks. Let's see if I can do it. I mean... Whose side are you on? You're that, supposed to be impartial. No, you're selling the books anyway. It's fun. <laughs> is it, that is half a gyoza, if that's anyone's sandwich. Like, that is a very small gyoza, may I say. <laughs> did you make that one? You did. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. You possibly. Did. possibly. Okay, so now what do we do? We're putting the, it to you guys. Oh. We're putting it to you guys. Can, okay. Is that it? Yeah, we're putting oh. it to the floor. So we for have the to. Vote. We've got red is here with the supersonic Phoenix fold. Yeah. Red is here. <laughs> Blue is here. Let's kind of like shake them up a little bit and get them in. With the greedy one. That's now we'll need, we'll, we'll need the lights up, ladies and gentlemen, so we can Look see. And we'll need the blue the or the red what? to see who you should can't win. Do the what? <clears throat> the bursting just one. Leave it this way. Just leave it this the way. The bursting the... one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, oh. Come on, wait, wait, what? Oh. What? <coughs> what? No, maybe you should do like one up. One, one up no one. way. Okay. Wait, which one's this one? Okay, for? so let's put them all down. That's very confusing. Let's put up. Let's put up the reds. If you have red, put it up. Oh, <coughs> Wait, is this for beauty or is this for like? <laughs> this is for the overall win, not just for oh, good the looks. Overall win is and blue. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. That's it. That's it. We won. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the winner is Niagi. I just want to say, like, what can I say? I'm not, I'm not paid by you, so I have to just kind of like, <laughs> want to keep it clear tonight. You're not paid by me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm What's just here for the food. Okay, I'm just here for the food. Sorry. What do you reckon? Look, you're giving me that eye, that not, sticky okay, eye right, look. Oh, okay, Stick. all right. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, um, Trevi. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is blue. Who cares? Honestly, we're all winners here. We're so, all winners here. You're a champion. We've got You're prizes for the runners up. That's no, okay. Ours will be ours will be tastier. Anyway, when prizes they prizes for the winners because they're so good. Where are our winners? They'll burst open, so don't worry about it. Winners are the blue. Congratulations. Well done okay, to you. Okay, yes, we have prizes for the winners. We have prizes. So this is a bag of some of my favourite kitchen essentials that I don't always talk about, but there's little tags on there to give you a hint as to how we use them and how they're going to change your life in the kitchen. However, more importantly, there are never any losers in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have the same prizes for you guys. Oh, yay! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thank up. you. Give them a big round of applause. Oh they head God. off stage. What a great oh, job. Thank oh, no, you're, oh, you're oh, tasting wait, your... Oh, you're going to taste a gyoza. Yeah, so, yeah Now they get to... Yeah, they get to... Yeah. Would you, would so you we've mind got some showing them on the way? over here. Look at that. They're having a little taste as we go. We go. I love it. So I might have to ask that we don't double dip just for <laughs> hygiene reasons. <laughs> There's a little serving and each. One each, sure, yeah. Wait, is everyone okay? <laughs> Who, I know. Is everyone okay with chopsticks? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, let's just use your hands. Now, we're all just going to watch for a few minutes. There we go. There we go. 
I had to eat a taco in front of you, so it's only fair that they should have to have try and have a slippery little gyoza. Oh, good. Oh, that was smart. She speared it. Just to make oh, so sure there's no mess. Soy sauce, vinegar, and a little bit of chili oil. So that's a and a little bit of oil. A little bit of chili oil. Chili oil, delicious, because it's always good having that for a we taste. Yeah. Spare chopstick for you. Yeah, this oh. one's for you, Karen. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need enough taco. You didn't need enough taco. <laughs> yeah, like I need a gyoza. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, they are fancy too. There's they no end fancy. to they Gold are? Coast yeah. Libraries and what they've done. Well, oh, is there I, all the are they yours from? Just dip in one. You can, you can dip in three times with the same sauce if you want, though. <laughs> oh, you, you, only did did a, you only did a little bit of oil there. Yep. Good, that was a generously plump one. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, you approve? Excellent. They're in the cookbook, right? Yes, of course it's in the cookbook, absolutely. Mum would have my head if it wasn't in the cookbook. <laughs> Happy? Oh, she's finally quiet. This is the first time she Thank hasn't you. spoken. We, all it took was some gyoza, JB. Who knew? That's all I needed. Did you love it? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, amazing. Anyone else for a second on the way out? Oh, I will. Mm, go. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> How could you not? You can't waste them. Yeah, exactly. Take both. Just take both. If they're stuck together, just take both. Yeah. <laughs> good luck with that. Mm. No. <laughs> Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. You're a Just pop it down. Absolutely. Yeah, Hard enough that. eating on stage or Thank cooking on stage, let alone eating. Who would have thought at an author night here at Gold Coast Libraries we'd be cooking, we'd be testing? How was yours? Did you love it? Do you love the taco? Here, I'll take your plate back. We have to give that back to someone. <laughs> I'll do the dishes as well. It's just endless, really. How was yours, lovey? Was it lovely? Was it beautiful? Ah, oh. How delicious. 150 recipes, and they've all got the QR code. And I've got to tell you, it is the best Christmas present ever, but it's the best piece of hardware for your kitchen you'll ever find. Because uh, I always joke about having cookbooks that are sit at home, and that I actually spray with a bit of food when people come over. So it looks like I've been working on them. But the fact is, you can't do that with this because people know the Nyagi difference. They know when you've actually cooked from the cookbook. So um, this is such a celebration for us in the city of the Gold Coast to have you here. Thank you and to your beautiful publishers for allowing you to come to the Gold Coast because we know your schedule was so tight. This is the biggest event that's been held. And the funnest. And, and the funnest. And the funnest. Absolutely. <clears throat> we only do fun on the Gold Coast, but it's wonderful that Gold Coast Libraries chooses to bring such authors as yourselves. Do you like that? Authors? Absolutely. Authors. I know. Celebrity, I know. author, blogger. You're just entrepreneurial. This just keeps on that rainbow, I'm keeps just growing. Cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's very competitive when it comes to gyozas, <laughs> may I say. And we all love you. Oh, thanks, Gary. You've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Michelin star, like really, I mean, now you're here. Um, but being part of the family, and I know for you it is all about your family. It is all about your entire team. And we know many of them have joined you and um, come up with you from Sydney. So we wish you the best. Um, we don't even need to do that because... <laughs> It's a worldwide bestseller, it really is. And we just see that in the next few weeks and the next few months, and we can't wait to see what's next. But give us a moment, if you don't mind, just to get through those 150 recipes, because we just can't wait to open the pages. So, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you tonight the one and only Naji joining us on the Gold Coast. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. A warm welcome. Yeah, it was it was amazing. I was so nervous coming out here. It's definitely the biggest event we've done, the most complicated with the cook. It's the first time I've cooked live in public. Um, so yeah, it was just it made such a difference to have so many friendly faces out there. And you know, it was a room filled with people that yeah are here for good food. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for coming out tonight, and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> Woo! And a big well, round of applause to JB, as much grief as I JB, absolutely. Woo. I'll just have everybody just and remain seated, please. If everybody can just remain seated. If everybody can just remain seated. You haven't listened to me. 
Thank you very much. And we'll just before we finish, sorry. No! Does anyone recognise this? <laughs> if you've watched them on their show, of course, you know the loser has to wear, <laughs> has to wear this apparently for the rest of the night. Just because she's book signing, we will take it off while she's signing books. I'm sorry, but it's your fault for trying oh. to cheat. Is so... We'll hand it over and we'll <gasps> round of applause. I love it. Perfect. So unfair. So unfair. And Will, back to Gold Coast Libraries. Perfect. What is this? Perfect. And the biggest fan. I think you're the biggest fan All in Australia. All afternoon, Nagi was talking about how JB was going to be wearing I, that. So, so we even fitted it on his head to make sure it was going to work. out well for you. Uh, so thank you, everybody. My name's Will. I work for Gold Coast Libraries. And yes, they were my chopsticks. Uh, I just wanted to, just some closing commentary, if you don't mind. Firstly, I just wanted to thank Nagi, JB, and the entire SB Tin Eats team. There's a number of people who uh, were working really hard back in Sydney who weren't able to be here tonight, and they helped put this event on. I wanted to thank Karen for hosting and for eating. Thanks to Pan McMillan for giving us this opportunity to put tonight on, and thanks to the entire library team for working really, really hard over a number of months to put together a complicated little event like this. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun putting it on.